In this video, we train a machine learning model on MNIST dataset. Then we use our own data to check how good is our model. And finally, we export the training model to a TensorFlow Lite version so we can use all this prediction from a mobile app. MNIST is a large dataset of handwritten digits. Here is the distribution of training and test data from this dataset. This is also called the Hello World of Machine Learning. Uh, in this video, we're gonna train the MNIST dataset using a simple machine learning setup. So our model will take a MNIST image and then it will go through the bunch of fully connected layers and finally it will give us the classification result as an output. Let's create a new notebook. I'm using Google Colab. Uh, I'll make the link available below for this notebook. And then I'm going to import TensorFlow, PyPlot from Matplotlib and NumPy. After that, we're going to uh, import MNIST dataset from tensorflow.keras.datasets.mnist and separate it into training and testing set. Now to make sure the data has loaded properly, let's print a uh, first item from the training array. Cool. You know it's working when you see a bunch of numbers like this. Uh, but let's visualize this to make it more easy to understand. Uh, so I'm going to use I am sure from PyPlot uh, to see the training image from your list. Mm, great. Now we need to normalize the data so everything becomes uh, between 0 and 1. Uh, so we're going to divide the x-train and x-test uh, variable by 255. Now our data is uh, ready for training. Let's create a model. We're going to use the Keras sequential model. Uh, we will have a flattened layer uh, and followed by two dense layer and one dropout layer and finally one more dense layer for output which is fully connected so in this case our input image size is 28 by 28 and the dense layer is 128 with the ReLU or rectified linear unit as the activation function and the dropout is 0 0.2 which means uh, if I have 10 hidden neurons, uh, then we disconnect 2 of them and we keep uh, 8. Cool. And our output dense layer is 10 uh, because uh, here uh, MNIST output is 0 to uh, 9, which is total 10 numbers. Now compile the model by model.compile, which is uh, which going to take an optimizer, loss functions, and matrices. So we're going to use uh, Adam optimizer. Uh, sparse categorical cross entropy as loss function and accuracy as a matrix uh, then fit the model um, using model.fit for x train y train and we're going to use three epochs uh, so let's run it so after only three epochs uh, it announced 98 percent accuracy so let's find the vari uh, validation loss and validation accuracy by model.evaluate uh, we're going to use uh, the X test and Y test now. So basically, it's evaluate the model based on the test data set, compare how many correct and incorrect guesses it got. And not bad, it got almost 90% correct and loss is 0 0.082. Uh, now we can use our train model uh, to make prediction uh, on any handwritten data set. Let's try. So for prediction, we're going to use model.predict and we're going to put x test. I'm still using the test data from M MNIST and let's print the first result. Hmm. So here it shows the 10 items in the array, which is the uh, probability distribution of all 10 output number that we have from 0 to 9. And from the, prob uh, from the probability distribution of first item, we can see that uh, the number is 7, uh, which has the highest probability in this case. So our model is pretty confident that is 7. So we can use the uh, Artmax from NumPy uh, to print the index of max value in the array and let's see what number it shows. So, so yeah, it's 7. Cool. Now let's use a different image that is not in the MemNIST dataset. So I'm going to upload uh, my own image uh, and see how our model does. I'm going to upload this test.jpg image. Uh, so to load the image, I'm going to use uh, Open CV2 and define the image size at 28. Uh, then let's read the image uh, that I just uploaded and convert it to a grayscale. 
So the image I just added is uh, 359 by 300 in dimension. So now the image, uh, uh, my image also has a white background, but our model needs the background of the image to be black. So let's use the bitwise knot from OpenCV. Uh, what it does, it, it will change the white background to black. Uh, now let's resize the image to 28 by 28. And finally normalize the pixels. Cool. Uh, and let's uh, try to do prediction. Okay. And it says 5. Let's print our image to verify the result. Uh, Cool. Okay, so our model is working. Now we need to export the model so we can use it in another application, for example, mobile app. Uh, so I'm going to use kerals.models.save uh, and save it as mnis underscore model.h5. And then I'm going to convert it to TensorFlow Lite for easier use for mobile device. Uh, I'm going to do that by convert equal to tensorflow.lite it has a function called tflightconverter dot from keras model file which we just created uh, as a dot h5 and then tflightmodel equal to converter dot convert and then let's write this to a convert file let's run it and we have mnis underscore model dot tflight file cool so this file is ready to use for the mobile application. Uh, let's download it because we're going to need it when we're going to make prediction in the app uh, and which is going to be in the next video. Cool. Well, hope you enjoy it. See you in the next one.